Let's take a look at what our ghost dashboard looks like. So let's add slash ghost to the end of our URL. This takes us to a welcome to ghost screen. In here we can create our account and this may seem a little strange even though we're on a local machine. This is simply creating a local account. It doesn't matter what you put in is the email address. So for example, if we add hi at paulhalliday.io and we moved on to the next step, we could then click I'll do this later at the bottom and you'll now see that we're in the ghost admin dashboard. We're currently on the stories page. This allows us to look at the different stories that we have inside of our application. You'll notice that all of the text is in markdown but we also have a variety of different options here at the bottom left. If we click this one, the toggle side by side preview, we can see what our markdown looks like here on the screen. There are a variety of other options, which I suggest you look at here at the bottom, but moving on, we have other things like the team. These are different authors, which we can invite to our site. We have things like the general settings, so for example, we could change the title and description of our ghost blog, the time zone, the different logos, and much more. Inside of the design section, we can upload our different themes as well as add navigation items. Inside of tags, we can add different tags. You can think of these as categories in a standard blog site. So at the moment we have a getting started tag. We have code injection. This is really good if you want to add analytics to your blog as well as different apps which allows us to use things like Slack with a web hack. We also have things like accelerated mobile pages, which makes much lighter mobile pages for our users. We have free photos with Unsplash. And finally, we have labs. Now, at this point, I want you to make sure that the public API is ticked as we'll need this for our theme development. You can also tick subscribers as we'll be using the subscriber theme and I like using the night shift. This changes the colors to be a dark background. So when we refresh the page, you'll see that everything is darker. I prefer this, you may not, it's up to you. But make sure you've got the public API ticked and subscribers ticked. Any subscribers that we do get will go inside the subscribers section. So when people add their email address, we'll be able to export this to our email software. Awesome. Let's look at making our first theme and taking advantage of the simplicity of Ghost.